I feel quietly happy about this. We got approached by a guy running a group called Stop Co Governance. Um, and his name's Julian Batchelor, and he'd run into a problem. Julian Batchelor had tried to book a venue as part of a series of public meetings he wants to hold, or his group wants to hold, called Stop Co Governance. And the purposes of the group and its attitude is quite obvious in its name. So he went to Sport Northland and asked for a venue, and they went away and had to think about Stop Co Governance and renting out their public venue or hiring out the public venue to him, and they said no. Because of what you want to talk about, no. It was cancellation. It was clearly cancellation. So I am... No, we were slightly outraged by that, and we got onto a story, a story that no one else really in the media was covering. We got uh, the Mayor of Kuiper and the Mayor of Whangarei to say they thought this was cancel culture, and now, less than a week later, there have been developments. To find out what those developments are, Julian Batchelor, spokesperson for Stop Go Co-Governance, joins us now. Julian, welcome back to the platform. How are you? Hi, oh, Sean. Oh, I'm fantastic. I'm fizzing. All right. What has what have de- developments been? Well, we met with the uh, the executive of uh, Sport Northland, and uh, they were nice people, I've got to say. Um, and they said um, uh, over the table, uh, they pho- first of all they phoned me and said, "Can you come up here for a meeting?" And I said, "Yeah. What do you want to talk about?" And they said, "We want to, um, you know, we we want to just talk to you about the issue that we have." And I said, "All right, I'll come." But before I came, I uh, wrote out a statement saying uh, this is what we were requiring to settle the issue. And um, I said uh, we want an acknowledgement from Sport Northland that they acted unlawfully, um, that um, that they breached the Human Rights Commission, uh, that they um, will from now on uh, allow people in their facility who will express points of view irrespective of whether they agree with them or not. Um, and um, that um, Sport Northland would give us the facility for free and we could go in there and, as an act of um, contrition on their part, give us the facility for free and let us have it on the date we wanted. Well, we, when we got there to the meeting, they said, um, oh, look, we're, we're sorry about what happened. Oh, and that's nice. That's we, a good opening, Julian. Yeah, yeah, that was a good opening. That's not the end of the story. So they said, oh, look, we're very sorry. We will give you the facility. Now, I held that, that piece of paper in my, in my pocket. I didn't let them see it until I found out what they were going to say. And they were basically going to just give a verbal apology and say, look, you can, you, can, you can use the facility. And I said, no, no, no. And I said, is that it? And they said, yep. And I said, that's not good enough. Uh, we actually want it for free. And out of my pocket, I drew the, um, the conditions for, uh, uh, to settle the issue with them. And that was pretty sobering, I've got to say, for the guys. Um, and um, so we we discussed this, and we've just we have got the facility. We have booked it for the twelfth of February, and I hope we get a thousand people there at Sport Northland three pm. Um, and uh, but um, but we haven't got any further on them actually apologising. They did write a response to us saying that you know we're a, we're a, a registered charity and we're serving the community and. You know, the charity operates to try and help people get moving and blah, 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 blah. A lot of spin. But, um, and then they ended it with, we will be in contact with the Human Rights Commission regarding your complaint. Because I said, we want to get a formal um, ruling from the Human Rights Commission on this issue because it was a clear breach. So we, we have also gone to the Human Rights Commission and said, mate, this issue is not resolved completely. We want your ruling on this because they clearly breached it. What are you going to do? And yeah. we've had so, absolute so silence. So, to your problem. mind, without that formal apology, the issue actually isn't quite dead yet. But they have clearly recognised what they did was wrong. You are getting the venue on the date you want for free, and I would personally say, Julian, you should actually pay like everyone else because um, it is a public you, facility. Sean. Okay, that, that's just my, my, my puritanical view on this. We've also got to give a hat tip, haven't we, to the Free Speech Union who climbed on board this issue and have been helping you out. They were fantastic. Jonathan and the guys down there were great because they're heavy hitters and they climbed into it and they definitely 
uh, forced a response. They pulled the levers that got the guys at Sport Northland to take some action and come back and it, with a little bit of contrition and repentance. Yeah. And so, you know, I was just reading this morning, Frederick Douglass, a great American politician, said to, to, to suppress free speech is a double wrong. It violates the rights of the hearers as well as those of the speaker. And that's a very, very pertinent powerful, pithy little saying because there's a lot of people in Northland who want to know about co-governance and they don't know about it and they want to come and hear about it and you've got Luxton and you've got Hipkins, Chippy and he's saying, both of them are saying let's have a debate about this so that's what we're doing. Yeah, but no, no, your problem is your problem is and always was going to be, Julian you're debating something that the people who want to have the debate don't agree with or don't want to identify with. That's why you, why you and your group are going to continue, I, I predict, facing cancellations and controversy as, as you hold these meetings. Could I ask you, did any mainstream media get into this story? Because it seemed to me to be the very example of what the wider national debate was, was about. Not one other media agency climbed onto this whatsoever. And that's because of this. To all your all credit to the platform and to you, Sean, for your guys for having the, 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 the balls and the guts to not sign up to that um, $55 million public interest journalism fund. Because that has shut down uh, uh, um, this kind of debate that we need in New Zealand. And only, only the, the, the narrative that the government is pushing is allowed to be published. Now, that's wrong. That's North Korean politics happening right here in New Zealand. And it's disgusting. It's wrong. All right. What response did you get from the stuff that we did run and from the people that listened to it? What, is, what has all oh, this mate, controversy oh, done for you oh. guys? I've got a fantastic story. I'm, I'm, I'm betting for the platform. I'm telling everybody to sign up for the monthly fee that you, you, know, you want, which is $13 a month. It's pittance. And it's so worth it. It should be $1,300 to join you guys because I'd love to see you just absolutely boom and kick the pants of all the other media agencies who are just, you know, oh, it's, it's disgusting. Anyway, I'll give you a quick story. Somebody has donated a great big screen, three metres by three metres, for us to show our PowerPoint shows in all our meetings. We've now got 42 meetings all around the country. And so I went to an engineering shop. It was somebody donated it. It's in perfect condition, but it's one that actually should be stuck on a wall. It's got brackets on it for it to, to be placed on a wall. So I went to an engineering shop in Wangarei, and I said, hey, you guys, somebody's donated this. It's quite valuable. I need to just get this. Um, for, um, uh, for, for a series of s speeches we're going to have all around the country. And c can we put this on some tripods so I can just put it in a van and we can get it out and erect it quickly? And, and he goes, the guy goes, what are you d doing? And I said, we're running a movement called Stop Co-Governance because we want to open up public debate about it and have free speech. And he goes, oh, my God, what's your name? And I said, Julian Batchelor. And he says, hey, that's fantastic. I just heard you on the platform. And... Uh, Give me that screen, mate. We're going to do it for free, and um, we're into it. And so he and, and I said, "Is that who, is that where you heard about?" It? He says, "Yeah, mate. It's all over social media." And then I went. After that, I was on a bit of a high. I went down to a music shop in Wangarei, uh, and because I had to, we have to buy the the, or the sound gear to do these the speaking in all these forty two venues around the country. And the guy in there, we get talking to him. He says, "What are you doing?" I said, "I'm." I'm uh, running a, um, a, a sort of a lobby group trying to stop co-governance in New Zealand. He thrust out his hand, shook my hand. He says, what's your name? I said, Julian Bashley. He said, mate, I've just heard you on social media. We're going to help you and we're going to give you a discount. Come over here and let's get you all set up and ready to go. Oh, so, right. Mate, I'm, I'm telling you, the platform is out there and it's making a massive difference. Well, look, we're glad because that issue is important to us editorially at the platform. Um, and it is good to see, I, I've got to say, uh, Sport Northland won't come on, won't talk to us about what, what's happened, but at least they have reneged while you're st still sorting out these details with the Human Rights Commission, which I, I personally think is worth pursuing, Julian. But meantime, of course, it's Waitangi Weekend, um, yeah. where co-governance is an issue and it raises all the issues that, that you're talking about. What are you going to do on Waitangi Day? And as I asked David Seymour, what does it mean to you? Well, I've, I've been to Waitangi a couple of times, and both times, for me, it was a pretty oppressive uh, uh, a place to go. 
I didn't find much positive. The vibe there was pretty negative. But if I was there, I, you know, I disagreed with something um, uh, uh, Seymour said. He said the treaty teaches that Maori could have self-determination. That's absolute garbage. The treaty is so clear that Maori chiefs ceded sovereignty to the crown and there is only room for one government in New Zealand and that is the elected government. You cannot have two governments going. You can't have two groups of people running the country, splitting New Zealand in two, elite Maori in one half and the rest of us on the other half. That is not in the treaty. That is absolutely contrived rubbish. And so I would be up at Waitangi saying that and calling for a royal commission to investigate all the fraud and the corruption since 1975, which has plagued that whole treaty. It's so different now from what it was uh, in 1840. The, the original treaty signed by the Maori chiefs in writing, uh, sorry, in Maori, never said that Maori were going to have self-determination. They put themselves willingly and happily under the governance of the British and it's supposed to be like that forever, it says. They ceded sovereignty entirely and forever is the wording in the Maori uh, Treaty, which is the one we should be paying attention to. And that is the issue. So we've got so far off the original, it's now unrecognisable and it's wrong. All right. Well, that's pretty clear then, Julian. Um, look, I thank you very much indeed for keeping in contact with us and coming on the platform. I am glad that you got a resolution that has some justice in it uh, and allows for freedom of speech from public institutions. So uh, thank you very much indeed, Julian, and, and, well, happy Waitangi weekend to you. Yeah, you too, mate. Have a great one. Thanks. Cheers. Julian Batchelor, spokesperson for Stop Co Governance. And, you know, that story, will it be covered anywhere else or did it just not happen because it didn't fit the mainstream media's views?